Hello, this is Ahmed from Global Project Control. Welcome to the new session. In this lesson, we want to talk about how you can create an S-curve for plan with a little bit different situation. But how does it work? Think about that this is your plan and here is your S-curve for the labors. So if I go to the filter on the WBS, I go for the filter by engineering. Here is the engineering portion. If I change the filter to the management, then here is the management portion. If I go for the filter and change it. To the procurement. Here is the procurement portion. But how does it work if you want to move this data from the P6 to the Excel and then create this kind of S curve with a little bit better design and maybe better colors? Okay, so let's go ahead. For this combination of data gathering from the P6 to the Excel, you need to go to the report and then create a new report. This report should be time distribute data and it is good idea if you create it by using WBS. In the columns, we don't need too much information, only WBS code name is enough and maybe total activities because I want to only draw this curve for the plan value, I using baseline project labor unit and that's enough. Yes. And the group and sort, I use WBS, but I want to only draw this curve for the level two. So I use the level two and without any filtration. Now on the time scale, I use the month by using calendar. For time interval field, let me to take baseline project labor unit from the cumulative and baseline project labor unit from time interval as i selected the monthly period so my time interval is a monthly base now go for next here is wbs sker report next run the report Field delimiter, text qualifier. Let me to collect the information from the Excel. Okay. Now, here is our first tab. We grab this tab information from the P6. Okay. Let me to create another tab. I create a copy and move it to the end. Let me call it calculation tab. Now, I want to do the calculation for equal to the same field over here divided to total baseline project labor unit and I want to freeze this field then I change it to the percentage and now I want to use this formula for all the field but as you see I have too much zero over here so it's not good I'm going to use if this field 
equal to blank show me the blank in other ways use this if result now again i'm going to copy this field and paste it over here okay now blank is come back hello blanks now you need to remove this total from here and i need some titles over here here is cumulative baseline for project here is cumulative baseline for management the next one is cumulative for the engineering and the next one is for the procurement and the last one is for construction that's it now I have all the data I want to draw the curve but before I want to draw it let me to copy paste copy paste copy paste copy paste and last copy paste then I select this one this one this one and this one then use control F I want to replace cumulative BL by monthly BL that's it now I have all I need I select all this field go to the insert by recommendation chart there is no difference which one you want to select because we want to change them a lot. I want to move this chart for better viewing to the another sheet. The title is plan scare labor plan scare so here we have some part of information at the beginning you need to go to the select data we instead of cumulative based on project you should remove all the cumulative information okay that's good now I have for cumulative pardon for monthly baseline with one cumulative data I am going to right click on one of them go to the change series chart type over here I have the first one is line let me to change it line with markers then the second one is monthly baseline for the project okay I should delete this then the third one is monthly baseline for the management I need to change it to the stack column then the next one it should be changed to the stack next one stack and the last one is stack now this is my curve as you see these two items is completely compatible with each other that is why I want to remove one of them so I I will delete it after the next step 
Now I come back to the change service chart type and over here you you have this opportunity to select the secondary axis. It is good idea if you select the cumulative data to the secondary axis, then another axis comes up on the right side. You have the previous axis on the left side. It is good idea if you change the cumulative data to the secondary axis. So because it's gonna start it from the left finish to the right side so every time we look at it to find it the result on the right side let me to check something on my calculation okay as you see i have I'm not reached to the hundred person, okay? But don't worry, it's happened because of one of my phases is not going to be completed. If you come back to the P6, you can find that my construction part is continuing up to I guess it's because what my actual is ended over the December. So how does it work? It's because I forgot to assign the proper baseline to the project, but I try to use the baseline field. So if I change it to the baseline field, then and I again look at the field, you can find that it comes to the proper field and proper digit at up to end of December. Now, how can I fix it on my chart? It's very easy. I need to first save this file. No, I need to use the other format. So, it is plan, curve. actually plan detail of curve but here is the item let me to sort it now here is the main information from the p6 the report name i come back to the p6 go to the report tab and you can find it i only need to run it around the report here is the result if you come back to the my it's ended by 96.76 now I come back here copy the data go to the first extraction data sheet from the p6 now right click paste it as a value come back to the chart you can find it it goes to the hundred percent now this is the chart which i told you it's not good to keep it right now i go to the selected chart and i want to remove monthly baseline project i remove it then it is good idea if I select the better color, for instance, this one may be changed to the blue. That's good. This one is procurement part. It is changed to the red. And other part is good now if you look at the curve here we have the 10.25 percent but this percentage comes by the management part and engineering part you can easily find that your s curve 
generated which source of WBS. You can find that your engineering started from the beginning of the project up to the April. But on the February, the procurement will be started and it will be ended up to the March. On the December, we are going to start the construction and construction will be ended to the April. But if you don't want to show this part from the May up to December, it is easy to remove it from the project curve. You can go to the select data and oh and took this part off from your time scale. From the May Oh, May, let's to keep the May from the May up to December. That is your curve with a little bit more detail in comparison with your normal S curve. Okay, that's it. We create the S curve with the detail. Let me to split the screen. It is an easy solution by using the Primavera P6 data model for S curve creation and extracting data from P6 to Excel with more detail. I hope it will be helpful for you. Thank you for watching Global Project Control. I hope this lesson is useful for you. Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for further lesson. Also, you can visit my website www.globalprojectcontrol.com in order to find all of lesson and courses in the same time. Thank you for your subscription at my YouTube channel.